Yo, watch me live at twitch.tv slash kingkong. Yo, Overwatch has just released a new tank hero. His name is Moga, and he's very, very fun to play. His kit is very similar to that of combination of Rissa slash Ryan. His playstyle is very similar to Hog because he has only abilities that mitigate damage slightly. But unlike Ryan and Rissa, he lacks a lot of mitigation. So a lot of like Orisa's Fortify blocks 50% of incoming damage. Ryan's shield blocks like 1,700 or something like damage. So that's a lot of damage mitigated that like, you know, that can eat up important cooldowns. And Moga is very similar to Hog in terms of like, if you're eating those cooldowns, your, your damage is just slightly reduced. So you're going to be taking like insane amounts of damage and you're just going to melt. So he's very vulnerable to nades and sleeps and other key abilities that are very dangerous to Rohawk. The same way. The way you play him is very similar to like Ryan slash Orisa, where you try to take space and with your gun that does insane amounts of damage, like up close especially. That being said, he's very vulnerable. He's like a big hog. The same way. So he's not going to be meta for a while, but he's very fun to play. I want to show you... Some clips of me just playing Moga and describing his weaknesses and me playing support and showing you how I play Ana because I'm a Ana main and then how easy it is to stop Moga, especially. So you will need a Kiriko if you want to play Moga because if there's an Ana in the center, you cannot play the game. Same similar to Hog. If you don't have a Kiri and you're playing against Ana, you do not get to play the game. All right, let's first talk about Moga's abilities, all right? So he has two guns. When you left click, you shoot this gun, and when you right click, you shoot this gun. So one gun, basically, after you shoot while, you start to set the enemies on fire. So just after a while, if you shoot slightly, it, it will not do that. And also his right gun, basically, is the same thing, except it's just pure damage. So, so it's just pure damage. It's pure damage, and it works the same way. Where if you hit the head, it will critical strike. But one thing to note is that. When you set enemies on fire, this thing will always crit. Always crit. So generally, what you do is basically, especially far range, you would set them on fire first and then use this gun. Just for accuracy. Because when you use one gun at a time, it's very accurate. If you use both, there's a lot of spread, but you do a lot of damage. You can see I'm doing so much damage for Rohog. So that's basically his core weapon mechanics. So his next mechanics is charge. Basically he charges and when you press like left click or space, that's when he jumps in. And you can cancel this early if you want. I generally use cancel it early in case like I need to like reposition. I don't need to like jump, you know, or left click to like jump on somebody. Because I'm I'm trying to run away or something. So generally it's very similar Ryan, you just use it to like engage and reposition yourself. That's the uh, general part of it. And the last one is basically his E, which basically reduces the damage of incoming for near all nearby allies and also you can heal for that amount of damage. So if I press this right now, look how much look how much overshield I hold I get. It's actually insane. And then his last ability is his like cage thing. Basically traps enemies around this area for 10 seconds. Now that is wild right? Because this is a shield. This acts the same way as a shield right? Like he's in, he's stuck in there of course as well, but his allies can walk through the shield and do anything they want. And he can also shoot past the shield. So his ultimate is a very strong ability because they're stuck in there. So this is like really good when it combo with like, for example, this, Bastion ult, like it's so free. Reaper ult is very free. Any ult that like basically um, does really well with like enemies in enclosed spaces it's really good like you can set up for so many players with this and that's why he's so good and one other thing is that what that shield blocks incoming projectiles from enemies so like if you trap a tank or something they're they're blocked from healing for the most part and they're basically screwed so it's really good to use it just to like isolate targets or like even like clump enemies together in one spot and just like do combos so it's really good so that's it for Moga for now. So, what are my final thoughts on Moga? The way you play him is very similar to Arisa in terms of if they get way too close to you, you show them who's boss. You just 
beat them with pure damage. The one thing that you need to keep in mind is Moga isn't like Orisa. His damage mitigation and abilities does not like mitigate that much. And it's not as forgiving as Orisa. He's very vulnerable like Hog. If he eats a nade, he's basically screwed. So keep that in mind when you're playing Moga. And of course, there's always advantages to playing Moga. He has high damage, long range poke, and of course, very fun to play. One last thing to note is that Moga looks like a hog in another's perspective. So just remember that you're going to be eating a lot of cooldowns and you have nothing to deal with it. So always, if you want to have fun, bring a Kiriko friend to help you out. To have a great time instead of getting like rolled and donkey done. I hope you have fun enjoying playing Moga. It's coming out in Season 10 and wish the best of luck to you.